Airlift director Raja Menon originally wanted to be a bike mechanic. Back in the 90s, he was hired as a production runner for an ad because he was good at securing clearance and permits. But he says once he got on the sets, something shifted in him and movies became his passion. This film makes us feel proud to be an Indian and we are in conversation with the director of this film, Mr. Raja Krishna Menon. Welcome to Aviasa. Thank you so much, Karan. Thank Pleasure you. having you here. Thank you. And the trailers look amazing. There is a patriotic feeling along yeah. with, uh, you know, we feel curious to watch the film. Right. <laughs> the, the day I saw the trailer. So, please tell us, how did the idea of Airlift uh, come to you? Well, Airlift is based on a, a, a real event that happened in uh, August of 1990. I come from Kerala and a lot of people from Kerala are in the Gulf, situated in the Gulf in Kuwait and uh, uh, specifically Kuwait at that point in time. So I had an idea about this story. Um, many years later, about 10 years ago, I kind of realized that it's an evacuation of 170,000 people. And I thought, man, this must be something huge, right? Mm -hmm. And instead of thinking, hey, and the logistics of it, and you know, 488 flights and all of it, and I said, this seems like such a giant achievement. You know, it should be told cinematically, right? So um, it's very important to tell a story that makes you feel um, and brings back a certain sense of belief that your country does care for you, the country will do things. It's possible for the most miraculous things to happen, not to be cynical. So all these things put together kind of, I think, drove me towards the film. The story of Airlift really is the story of a man called Ranjit Kityal, who's based on some real people. On, but not one person, it's based on a few people who were very, very effective and who gave up a lot of stuff to actually help the people who were stuck there to get out. Right? There were some big businessmen, so Ranjit Katyal's character is based on that. The story of the film is Ranjit Katyal is a man who's lived in Kuwait, made his millions in Kuwait. Uh, he's a billionaire now in 1990 and he's cynical about his country. He's, he's forgotten that, that little feeling about being... Uh, Indian, you know, what it is there. And like a lot of us, right, we complain, Kuch nahi hota hai, you know, the whole idea about that, you know, they, and nothing can happen in the country, etc., yeah. etc. Et so he's one of those people who's thrown into a true event that happened, which is the event when Saddam Hussein on August 2nd, in the middle of the night, attacked Kuwait mm. and suddenly changed their lives. And it's the realization through, it's a human story of Ranjit Katyal going through this entire journey of helping people, trying to save them, and reaching a point where you suddenly realize that, you know what, finally, Deep down, this home is where everything is. Mm. It's that realization of what it is to be Indian. You know, I'd like to coin a term Indianness. It's feeling Indianness. So, that is the main story. The story is set in the event. There is an amount of history to it. It's uh, generally true, most of what the events happened. But Ranjit Katyal as a character did not exist. That's a figure in my imagination, mm. made up of real people. ये रोज दिल्ली फोन करना ये इंडियन इंडियन खेलना तुम्हें कब से परवाह होगी इन सब की या तो सिर्फ आमिर जा रहे हैं और हम लोग क्या अपना अपना सोचे मैं तुम लोगों के साथ खड़ा हूं ना देखिए मिस्टर रंजीत वो तो क्या अभी हमेशा की बात को मैं गलत साबित कर दूंगा पुराना वाला रंजीत कत्याल बन जाऊंगा जो तुम लोगों को अच्छा नहीं लगेगा सो हाउ वाज द एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग विद अक्षय कुमार ब्रिलियंट अम टू बी ऑनेस्ट व्हेन इट स्टार्टेड ऑफ आई एम नॉट समबडी हु हैज वर्क्ड विद बॉलीवुड स्टार्स बिफोर I was very worried about, you know, how it would be and uh, would there be problems and egos and um, I have to say that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a big, his biggest fan right now. Uh, it's been a pleasure. He's completely connected to my point of view of what I wanted to say. You can't ask for more from an actor. He's given me the time to become Ranjit Katyal. We spent a lot of time very early in the morning, although 5.30 in the morning for many days. <laughs> uh, Getting into character, um, I think uh, it's a phenomenal performance and uh, he's a pleasure to work with, he makes everybody comfortable, he has no tantrums, he's not a star, he's, he's just another person who's there when he's on the set. We all are in a foreign country in a war zone. How do we know that the people who are living in camp are not Indian? I don't know, man, there are people in a problem. I think it's a day of a day. When somebody is disciplined and as disciplined as him, uh, it makes my life easy because I know when I say 8 o'clock, Akshay will be on set at 8 o'clock. So we work on different levels. What is the light? Do we want to shoot in this light? Do we need this done? Do we need that? And once you know that the main star of your film is going to be there, it sets a certain set of discipline across everybody else. Yeah. 
uh, and that's lovely. And the beauty of his eight hours is it's eight full hours. He doesn't take a phone call. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, he says, Raja, these eight hours are yours. Yeah. You say yes, you say jump and I'll jump and I'm there. This is what I'm here for. There is no other, no meetings, no conversations, nothing in that eight hours. That is your eight hours. <laughs> Thank you.